What's going on guys? Out here at the lot, just getting ready to uh, add a fuel filter to my JQ400. Um, not much stuff online about what to do, what to use for this. And uh, I figured I'd make a video as I'm doing it so you guys get an idea. And then uh, I'll link the, the filter that I'm using in the description. Oh yeah, and uh, quick thing here, I am adding a hydraulic filter for this thing and uh, I'll make another video on that on the steps I took to do that so uh, that's in process um, so we're kind of jammed up a little bit back here the lighting is not very good so hopefully you guys I can set you up to where you can kind of see so guys the bit I'm using is a 564 bit cobalt bit and uh, I'm using cutting oil and the trusty handy dandy Makita. So I'm trying to get this. What I did was I took a piece of paper and uh, punched out the holes where my filter's at. Or you can just sit the filter up here, really. And then uh, proceed to get your holes in there. So on the inside, this is exactly where I wanted it. Um, on the inside, I wanted to leave this opening clear just in case I need to run something through there. I didn't want this block in the way. So on the inside, this is about perfect and it'll run right down into my fuel pump. Um, so yeah, kind of drill it from the outside. You gotta move these hydraulic hoses out of the way, but no big deal. So we're, uh, I did drill through with a smaller bit, and now we'll come back with this larger bit and uh, we'll wallow it out. Maybe. There's one. This one I started with a smaller bit. I didn't go all the way through, so we'll finish with this larger bit. Yep, use your cutting oil, guys. Don't ruin your bits. So we're through on both and what I've been doing is tapping these holes. Uh, you guys can just bolt it up and uh, use whatever else you want. Um, I got some bolts, a lot of bolts that I'm trying to use up so... Um, Hopefully I didn't water this out too much or we will be using bolts. So yeah, you guys can put the holes in, run bolts and nuts. Um, that worked just fine also. I am going to run a tap here and try to uh, 
use some leftover stuff I have from uh, totes. And this is kind of sloppy, so we may be using uh, we may be using uh, a bolt and a nut on this one. I don't know. We'll see if I can get a few threads on this. If not, no big deal. I think I wobbled that thing a little bit, so it might be. Yeah, so we're out on the other side. It's feeling a little wonky, but uh, it may be all right. I don't know. We'll see. So that one's through. We'll do the next one. Hey guys, do it whatever way you want. If you want to run bolts, it's fine. Like I said, I had some extra screws, so I'm trying to tap tap this and, and use what I got. So um, if you don't want to go through the hassle of doing this, yeah, do do whatever's easy for you. Okay, let's get a little. So yeah, this whole this one's gonna tap pretty good. So at least I'll have one that's pretty tight here we'll get you back a little bit so I tried to run that all the way through um, let it come out and then uh, yeah you just don't have much room in here with these hoses but you got more room on the outside here than uh, what you do on the end so yeah, I'm happy with that. That's all the way through. That seems like that's a lot better than this other hole. Um, so we'll get this out. And then we'll see if we can get our bolts in for our... Uh, hopefully they're long enough. I'm not sure. They should be just long enough, but... Yeah, guys, these bolts pretty long. They should fit. They might stick out a little bit like this. Um, I can always cut that off later. So let's see if I can get you in here. I can't start this machine running it um, because I have the hoses off on there. So we'll try to get you guys in here a little bit and see. Hopefully you guys can see in here. Pretty basic. Um, like I said, we're just we're running these in now, and then I'll uh, leave a link. See, yeah, I got all these extra hoses hanging off because eventually I'm going to hook this up. Right now, I am not going to hook this up because I want to run. Uh, I want to run these other fuel filters as much as I can and try to get as much of this junk uh, out of the system, whatever's in this. Let's see if we got this good the first time here. And uh, we're almost there. I think we're cocked a little bit. And it's right there. Let's see if we can get this one started. Hopefully, 
it may be cocked a little bit i don't know nothing's perfect so that one's going in and see this hose doesn't really need to be on there so once we get that on that should be just right um yeah we'll get it on fit it up and see where we're at um yeah, it looks to be pretty good here oh yeah these bolts are plenty long yeah i don't think that one's gonna that's gonna need a bolt that's gonna need a uh definitely gonna need a yeah so yeah this right one it's it's not bad but we might put a, a nut on that back end i'm not sure See if we can even tighten that down. Yeah, they're just pretty much spinning, so a little loose. But like I said, we'll run some bolts. It won't be a big deal. So yeah guys, here's the install on the fuel filter on the JQ400. Um, everything's bolted up. Uh, come to find out those bolts weren't in all the way. So yeah, I had it tapped good, but I did run some uh, lock nuts on the outside just to be safe. So that's a pretty good spot for it. Um, out of the way, kind of just misses everything there. And uh, I have enough room to screw it on and then screw it, screw it off. So um, Pretty good fit fitment it's kind of out of the way of everything pretty close to that one hydraulic hose but it's fine it's just right so this hose will run to the top so I have the pump going down and then into into that filter so I left enough hose off of this pump to uh, get me what I need to do so the bottom of that um, will run. So yeah, I left this on there because I knew I would be putting this right down onto the top of this pump. So, and then that one has enough fluid here or a line here to where I can just run that to the bottom of there. When I disconnect this, I can hook this one right up. So everything should be pretty, pl you know, plug and play and uh, should be good to go. So there's the outside. I did run some lock lock nuts. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll cut these ends off, clean it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, pretty happy. We're, get, we're getting it together. I'm trying to get all this stuff done before we get too many hours on this thing. I'm trying to get fuel filters, hydraulic filters, um, number one, that stuff and then uh, work on counterweights and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, um, making progress.